Hello Bears fans, today, let's discuss the Chicago Bears and their potential plans to bring in a veteran receiver to push Chase Claypool. Claypool is an incredibly physically gifted receiver, but his production and attitude have often been questioned, and he got off to a slow start when joining the Bears midway through last year. Could the Bears benefit from bringing in a veteran receiver to push Claypool to reach his potential? Let's see. Don't miss out on the latest news about Bears. Subscribe now and turn on notifications to stay up to date every day. Become the ultimate fan with all the information at your fingertips. Former Steelers great Heinz Ward recently expressed concerns that Claypool is too selfish as a player, and that he needs to show more maturity and focus on the team rather than individual accolades. But with the 2023 season being a contract year for Claypool, the Bears have an opportunity to bring out the best in him by lighting a fire under him and providing real competition. This could come in the form of signing a veteran receiver or two, who could come in at reasonable rates and challenge Claypool for targets in games and practices. So who are some potential veteran receivers the Bears could sign? Let's take a look. Michael Thomas, while Thomas has been plagued by injuries in recent years, he's still a talented receiver and would be a good fit for the Bears. He could be the ex-receiver who competes with Claypool, and his experience and ability to play any receiver position would make him a valuable addition to the team. PFF estimates his rate at $12.5 million for a one-year deal. Robert Woods, fresh off being cut by the Titans, Woods is a player who was linked to the Bears through unsubstantiated rumors last year before they traded for Claypool. He's a few years removed from his 1,000-yard seasons with the Rams, but could still be an effective receiver on a one-year deal. Odell Beckham Jr., while this might be a long shot, the Bears could benefit from taking a chance on Beckham if he's willing to sign a one-year deal. He's had some injury concerns, but is still a talented receiver with the potential to make an impact. DJ Chark, this Detroit free agent had some injury issues last year, but is still just 26 and has shown that he's capable of producing when healthy. However, PFF estimates that he could get a deal for three years and $11.67 million, which might be a little too rich and long-term for the Bears. Kenny Galladay, Galladay is still with the Giants, but his future with the team is uncertain. The Giants will be eating a huge amount of cap space by cutting him, which makes his departure seem likely. He hasn't been the same player since leaving Detroit, but he could still be a valuable addition to the Bears if he's willing to sign a one-year deal. So there you have it, some potential veteran receivers the Bears could sign to push Chase Claypool and bring out the best in him. What do you think of Claypool's performance? Leave your opinion in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for our channel. Join our community as a new fan to stay updated with our latest content, let's strengthen Bears. Catch you later.